down decisions and the Electoral College has awarded Joe Biden 306 electoral votes, a large percentage of the American public does not believe the November election results are legitimate. This is not a sustainable state of affairs in our democratic republic. There are many reasons for this high level of skepticism. 周三，美国参议院国土安全和政府事务委员会主席詹森在听证会上表示，这是他卸任前最后一次听证会，希望听证会能审查出舞弊规模是否会扭转选举结果，重建公众对选举制度的信心。但其中一位证人，前网络与设施安全局长克瑞布斯却予以批评。These are Republicans that are putting country over party. They're being subjected to just horrific. Threats as a result. This is not America. Well, I tell you what: 74 million Americans are not going to shut up and telling them that their views don't matter and that their concerns don't matter and they should just be quiet is not a recipe for success in this country. 共和党籍参议员霍利会上强烈发声，指出众多的美国人民不会对选举舞弊的争议沉默。民主党籍参议员皮特斯和共和党议员詹森在听证会上也有激烈交锋。You you lied repeatedly. You lied repeatedly in the press that I was spreading Russian dis, Russian disinformation, and that was an outright lie. And I told you to stop lying, and you continue to do it. This is terrible. What you're doing to this committee. Jensen 说，参议院少数派领袖查克舒默对他进行攻击。民主党人抵制这次听证会。他总结目前得出的结论是，大选确实存在人为操纵。选举期间，不该联网的投票机有一部分联网，投票机可以改变选举结果。詹森强调，应该允许专家检查 Dominion 投票机，看看他们是否遭到恶意行为者的入侵。新唐人记者张瑞珍综合报道。